this program falls apart it deteriorates one day all of a sudden the robot stops opening doors stops looking for opening doors why because the program is deteriorating but so the so all of a sudden the robot just stops in the center of the room but because there's a second program that backs up the first program the second program is the alarm beep 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 it goes off hey wait a minute i'm not doing nothing the robot's not doing nothing i have stopped i have to find uh, uh something to do you know i uh there needs to be some activity going on there needs to be something happening so there needs so uh, in a way in another idea in a uh, in a nutshell this i uh, second idea that i have is that a program should be packed up backed up by a program that when one program fails or deteriorates or uh motor function or whatever with the human brain the backup program uh basically uh nudges the robot to to basically just keep going and try to find and keep keep doing and doing you know so it's like a program backed up by a program one fails the other one kind of turns on and, and alarms goes off and as an alarm to the robot and tells it hey you know uh we've stopped this is not good this is not right let's keep going you know uh, the program may not be programmed to uh to um that could be that could also be something that also drives the subconscious recreation of the first program so that it can uh you know uh find the meaning in its life and that's just the second idea you know um but uh um this is just my ideas and uh and this is the trick this is the thing now i know i'm talking about simply simplified and it's more complex than how am i explaining it but I'm just going to continue on with the story. Okay, so the robot ventures out and looks for something new to drive itself in its existence. Another program to follow. Suddenly it sees a person or another robot doing something and it becomes inspired. Just like a human being. Sometimes a human being loses faith loses direction and then all of a sudden it sees another person do something that inspires them that reignites something within them that awakens something within them that perpetuates that perpetuates perpetuates them again that lifts their spirits just like a human the robot and the human are very similar the robot is inspired again because now it's learning a new a new thing to do a new meaning you know the program is a meaning and the meaning is a program so like but the thing is to just like a human they get inspired they follow something they get inspired but then over time as humans we always stumble and we always have roadblocks in our lives trouble comes along again so even though it learns a new program or learns something new the program is destined to de deteriorate again and eventually leads to fall apart and return to the original and the robot returns to the original state that it was from the first deterioration of the first program again trying trying to find and look for meaning in its life just like how humans are we always hit robot roadblocks we grow up as children and we have suddenly this enlightenment that gets uh this flame that gets blown out and then we have to find something new to reignite us and then we get the match lit again this this faith lit up again and then later on a few years later it gets blown out again this robot goes through this cycle trying to find meaning meaning in his life and the deterioration of the program the deterioration of this uh sequence of this um 
of this routine that the robot goes through um, is actually should be something that's naturalistic you know that's the that is the only way that we can create an organic form of thinking and an and, and existence for an Android or for a robot you know the constant breaking down and rebuilding of self internally in the mind you know in order to for the robot to be able to learn something new not only learn but also to to um, recreate itself reignite redirect reposition there needs to be deterioration in rebuilding uh, um, you lose interest in ideas and then you find something new and you rebuild this whole new inspired uh, path to follow another yellow bit road to follow that's what human beings do it's an emotional adventure nothing is set no human follows a set program every day we follow we create a program and then we break it down and we create and we create a new one and we create a whole new path to do to go a whole new route a whole new routine to follow but it's all subconsciously being built in the mind something drives us that we're not aware of that we're creating in the back of our minds meaning that's what the robot needs to do subconsciously there needs to be something going on not just the forefront programs that tell it to open the doors but there needs to be other program something else other programs in the back of its subconscious that drives its instinct and drives its and perpetuates its existence as an individual that drives its thought process how it lives and uh, I'll give more ideas uh, later on of my theory of how we can achieve artificial intelligence later with other videos but I just wanted to share this one and I really do feel that this can lead to something to a more of organic naturalistic uh, that uh, path to finally achieve artificial intelligence self-conscious self-individual self-thinking self-creating android robot the holy grail of robotics this ricky says but is thank you very much